Hello everybody and welcome to another basic machinery remake video. Yeah, so I figured out the uh, nuclear reactor in the pack and as you can see it over here, it's got a nice little animation. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, on the website, if you go to the Vantage website, there's, uh, uh, there's pictures on how you build it each layer each shows you how to build each layer it's not that complicated but basically you have to build these reactor cores and there's a reactor mesh on the inside that you put down um, and you have these reactor uh, what are they called reactor casings and um, yeah and then um, you have the three ports the the water port and the the water in port here so you have the water in and then the fuel which is here and I'll talk about this here in a minute the fuel in this is your controller here and there's no interaction there's no GUI or anything to it and then you have your output here and so the water's blue the fuel is uh, kind of a green color and then the outputs yellow to kind of match the um, to match the pipes now I hooked it up to this uh, to these batteries and you can see it's got a little bit of a charge in there it kind of charges it up and then it discharges it so I'm not really sure the batteries are all that necessary but uh, so and as you can see uh, I, ha I I just basically moved the system I had before with my solar power on there uh, and the wireless wireless system so okay so the process on this actually isn't that bad let's start at the beginning here so i've got my quantum miner set up and i've added a, just a, added a couple more and as you can see it produces regular resources but it also produces also produces some uranium um see if we get them through there I don't see, yeah, these guys right here, these uranium cells. It produces these uranium cells. So now, and it produces quite a few of them, so I'm kind of, I'm grabbing stuff here. So in order to, uh, you notice I've got it split off here, and if we look at this, there's a, there's a filter block that you can add to the system. It's really interesting, and it actually works pretty well. So if we look at the, uh, if we, Go down here and we look at the uh, oh my right uh, you know I've got a I've got a problem on this there we go yeah I don't know for some reason you got to do it like right there in order for it to work I keep picking this stuff up but as you can see let me go back up here as you can see it's got different colors each side has a different color associated with it so if you look at here, see you've got these different colors. So basically the side that you want to filter, so I've got the uranium going on the yellow side, and then I've got everything else which is going into this chest here uh, on the red side. So if we look at this here, you can see the yellow's going here, the red's going here, and you got a green, which is kind of in the input in this particular block, and then there's a blue, so if I wanted to do something. Now, if something isn't filtered, uh, like this, uh, this reactor casing, we should be able to throw this on here, hopefully. Let me see if I can get it on there okay if it's not uh, filtered you see that it falls on the bottom here and it, it drops just straight down now what you could do with that that's actually not a bad deal you could if we go around here uh, so we can get to it you could put a a uh, a conveyor system underneath it so anything that wasn't part of your sorting system or wasn't in you know in the in the system you could just automatically you know put it into an overflow chest or an unsorted chest or something like that so yeah that's a, a really nice feature so 
the unsorted items will just drop straight down to the bottom here and you could grab a, a conveyor belt and do some do something with those uh, because you only have a limited number of spots here so essentially i could filter the uranium cell leave everything else unfiltered just let it drop down onto this conveyor and move it into into this chest here i mean it would that would work perfectly fine as well and if you have a lot of different items then um that might be the way to go if, if you're running a bunch of different items on your conveyor system. But in this case, we've got more than enough spaces for everything because that's really kind of all the items that the quantum miner produces. So, yeah, that should be working just fine. So, except for, I don't think, I do I have diamonds in there? Oh, yeah. See, I don't have diamonds in there. So, that... uh Let's put the diamonds in there. There, yeah, so. I'm tearing the place up, but. So that's the filter block. Very useful, very useful. And it seems to be working really well. So I know in the last version, the filter didn't really work very well. It kind of, yeah, it really wasn't that uh, that useful. But in this version, it seems to be working well. The scripting that they've added uh, seems to be really uh, um Seems to be coming along and, and a lot more powerful than the silly, you know, system they were doing before with the, uh, with, with the, uh, what do you call them? The, uh, oh, I can't think of the name of it now, but, you know, the different uh, uh, files that they were using. So, yeah, now, okay, so to get back to this thing. So we're, I'm routing the, uh, the uranium cells over here. And this is the, um, it's right here, the neutron activator. Now, what the neutron activator does is it converts it into a liquid or gas, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. I think, uh, what is that? Uh, I can't. It, uh, I think that's a gas tube. Yeah, I'd have to, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that's, I'm, um, I think that's a gas tube. Uh, so yeah, so it converts it into a gas, and then that gas gets piped over here into this uh, um, chemistry mixer. And what that does is it mixes this, uh, this is fluorine here. It mixes fluorine and the uranium into making the nuclear fuel that gets fed in here. Now the way you get fluorine is through the water filter. And so you just have a water pump here and, the, and I'm dual, dual purposing the water pump here. The water, you can see the little blue there. It's going into the reactor because you need water. Um, and then it's splitting off here and going into the water filter. And that produces um, fluorine, uh, which is a liquid. And that goes into the chemistry, into the mixer, and the two are mixed together, and then produces the nuclear fuel. Get rid of some of this junk here. And uh, oh, and that's a liquid as well. So we have a gas here coming out of here, and then two liquids coming in here. Now, let me go back over here. Now there is a byproduct to this, and that's the um, the scrap. And we get this, and you can see we generate scrap. Let me um, let me grab a crafting table. And uh, let me let me go into survival here and get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, got too much junk. I'm picking everything up. Okay, there we go. Cool. So we can look at the recipes here. So the the reactor casing, um, I'm not, a, yeah, the reactor casing is iron blocks and whatever, not too bad. Reactor controller, um, 
just a furnace and with some reactor casing and then the reactor port uh, bucket and some reactor casings and what you do with the reactor ports is you just right click them to change them yeah now I was trying to figure out what the scrap is used for and I'm, I, I I don't really I'm not really sure what the what the scrap is used for if it's used for anything at all because I couldn't really find anything uh, where it was used but you know I, I'm not exactly sure why we're there, there must be a recipe in here somewhere that uses this scrap, but I am not really sure uh, where where it's used. But as you can see, the, the components on this are not really that bad. Uh, just some buckets and stuff here, like so. And then the, um, the neutron activator requires the circuit boards. And the circuit boards, of course, require plastic and, and silicon. So you're going to have to have the plastic... Uh, manufacturing setup and I've gone over that before but I might I might do a video on how to set up your plastic manufacturing as well uh, for the new version here I don't think it's probably not hasn't changed any I'm assuming it's still the same but to, and here's your evaporation module that you need so basically what you do is you 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 have this level here of reactor casings then you have the uh, uh, on the inside you have the uh, evaporation modules and then you you know you place your controller your uh, different ports there's three different ports that you put on here you know and then go all the way around so this is a uh, one two three four yeah it's a five by five so on the inside would be a, a four by four on the thing and then you just build it up and the pictures on the website show you how to do it and just do it layer by layer it's really simple not, nothing major uh, to do but yeah I'm not exactly sure what the scrap is used for so if you, if you happen to know what it's used for let me know put it in the comments and stuff because I, 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 I kind of looked through this and I really didn't see anything that I could see off the top that kind of used uh, used the scrap, so I'm not sure. I don't know if uh, maybe you can can you turn it into a block? Maybe I haven't tried this. No, no. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this scrap is used for, but you do get the scrap. So again, what I'm doing here is I'm just filtering the scrap out. Um, so and the uranium cells won't uh, sometimes go through and don't get processed and if they don't get processed they're going to come through the I, you know I think this is like on a you know a little timer or something uh, but they'll the uranium cells will sometimes go through and not get processed so what I'm doing here is I'm just feeding them back into the uh, on the blue side I'm just feeding them back in wrapping around so they'll go back through uh, so that you know they don't get uh so they don't build up and they just get repurposed they just get uh funneled back into the system and they'll eventually get processed and as you can see the only thing i have in here is scrap so yeah I, i'm a little puzzled on the scrap i don't know what that's what that's used for but as far as setting up the um the uh reactor is real simple you just have your water filter your chemistry mixer and then the neutron activator here and uh, that's really really kind of it you have to power it so I have the the wireless power going here over here now the way you would set this up obviously is is this would take a little bit to do right you're not going to do this right away so you're going to have your wireless system uh, or you're going to have your system set up with some sort of solar power or you know geothermal generator or something like that and so you know you're just going to leave that system in place and then build your reactor and then just hook on to that particular system that you already have that way you've got power to run your machines before the reactor gets up and running on it but once you put it all together and get it get it set up it'll activate but it won't generate any power until you give it the fuel and the water you have to have both in there so 
Yeah, nice little, nice little uh, addition to uh, uh, basic machinery. I like it. Yeah. Now I don't know what the power. There's no like you know power units associated with it. Seems to be just sort of a constant. It's not, you know, it's not. Uh, before it was kind of like tick based. You know, it would you'd get these pulses of energy, but this the it, everything seems to be constant now. You got constant. Uh, you see, there's nothing, no pulses moving through the system. Everything seems to be constant now, which is real nice. That, that's kind of a nice, uh, not, and that's probably due to the scripting that they've added to the um, Bedrock Edition. So, yeah. As a side note, look at the grass. Have they desaturated the textures? These are default textures. The grass isn't nearly as green as it used to be. I think they've desaturated um, all the textures they were a little bit on the saturated side which I, I personally kind of liked but yeah they've gone to it looks like they've desaturated everything I was noticing I was looking on a regular world and it looked really kind of kind of bland compared to what it used to look like maybe it's just my eyes I don't know but it looks a lot looks like they've desaturated all the textures and stuff which is I don't know I kind of like the way it w was before it wasn't as, you know, a little bit brighter, a little bit more vibrant. Yeah. Anyways, that's just a side note there. So nuclear reactor. So if you play this uh, add-on, yeah, definitely keep this in mind. It's really simple to set up. I mean, none of the none of the reps, recipes are overly complicated, and it isn't really a complicated process at all. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty simple here. I've kind of – it's sort of spaghettified because I was kind of figuring out how to actually – set it up as I was going I haven't seen any documentation and uh, I haven't seen any tutorial videos on any of this stuff so yeah so I was just kind of going by uh, it's sort of set up like the mechanism uh, in Java edition how the mechanism mod is set up in Java edition so I was kind of going by that and yeah there's pretty much that it's kind of because the mechanism you have uh you have the same sort of system you have a neutron activator and you have fluorine that you have to put through it's a little bit more complicated though <laughs> than this setup uh but yeah this is a pretty nice little setup here so yeah now I, I, again i don't know how many machines this will power and, and any of that kind of stuff. But for this particular setup, it seems to be working fine. And it's powering everything that you see here. So including the, the resource generation and uh, the production for the actual nuclear uh, reactor itself. So, yeah, so there you have it. I hope that helps you. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.